Hi y'all, she was seven, I'm back. And y'all are gonna be mad at this video, but I gotta tell it like it is. It's the, the men are gonna be mad. Some of the women might be mad, but the men are gonna be a little bit upset because this is the stuff they don't want y'all to know. And when I say they don't want y'all to know, it's, they already feel women are too entitled or they feel like they're too entitled. So the question you have to ask yourself is why do women feel entitled? What gives them the right to be entitled? Well, I'm going to tell you. It is the thing that most straight men are after from the age of about 13 and up. Okay? And it's in between the woman's legs. If you don't know what I'm saying, the power of the P. Okay? Somebody told me to do a video on the power of the P, so here I go. Okay, focus. Most straight men are going to be after this. That's all they're going to think about. They say men think about sex. How many times a day? If y'all go do the research, 8, 9, 10, 14, 15, 36, 56, I don't know, in an hour. So if that's on their mind, what type of power do you think women have over men? Mentally and physically. <laughs> now men will now are trying to deny this. But it's true. It, like, sex crosses their mind. Women's body parts crosses their mind. You know, they use sex to sell on TV. They use sex to sell everything. Because men think about sex all the time. Now, with women, with women, you know, a lot of people will say, okay, well, you know, they're not selling cars. They're not selling certain things with women covered from head to toe and showing nothing but their face, you know, or, or and no makeup on, you know, even Flo is on the progressive commercial with her hair done and some wing, some wing eyeliner, you know, <laughs> and red lips. And back in the day, you know, y'all know red lips was like, you know, come get it. Um, so you got to remember you have power, whether you have been told you don't or not. Men think about sex so many times a day and will basically do anything for a woman if they think they can get sex from her. Uh, now, it has to be the woman they want. It has to be their type. They have to be attracted to her, you know, because that's just how it goes. So if you find a guy who's really attracted to you and you want him to do certain things, all you got to do is bribe them with sex. You know, it's, it's pretty easy, you know, or, or some freaky sex if you're already giving them sex. So it's basically, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm putting them on the stick. So basically it's like, you know what, honey, I love that purse. It's so beautiful. It matched this and that. I've been wanting that purse f for months and, you know, and he's not going to want to buy it, of course, because who wants to buy an expensive purse? But if you whisper in his ear, it's like, oh my God, I love so much do you know what i would do for you in, in bed you know what we're gonna do oh my god this turned me on when when you could buy me something like that you know and so then i'm like, oh yeah they're gonna be start saving up their little money to buy you what you want or are they just gonna buy it for you you know and it's gonna make them feel manly you know they're they're visualizing what you're describing you're gonna do to them and that's all they can think about and they know that purse plus purchase equals what you just described to them so they're just going to be like okay let me get that for you and <laughs> yes women can get pretty much what they want if they know how to if they know how to convince people and use their sexuality to get it and a lot of people will say oh you shouldn't do that you should why not why why can't you use your assets why can't you use what you were given to get what you want you know that would be like someone having a degree in astrophysicist and working at Taco Bell. Why can't you use your degree? Why can't you use your talent? Why can't you use the knowledge that you have? You know, you were given that for a reason. You know, what if, okay, that's like saying, oh my God, <clears throat> you were born with a talent. You could draw, you could paint, you could sculpt, but instead you choose to be an accountant. 
and you never draw and you never create you never use your art to earn you money and you're stuck in a miserable job because society says oh uh you shouldn't be so uh, into art it's not going to get you anywhere you know people will buy art people love art you can give art lessons <laughs> you can teach art you can do all, a lot of stuff like that so what i'm saying is use what you have to get what you want that's what it's there for if you, if you weren't supposed to use it you wouldn't have it why do you think male dominated societies and patriarchal societies make their women cover up because they have too much power over the men's mind um and we're very distracting to men and that's a good thing because that means we hold the key we hold the key to getting what we want to creating what we want to manifesting what we want to controlling situations to the way we want them to go I was reading in a book called think and grow rich I think it's page 177 and it says most wealthy rich creative and innovative men have a woman that motivated them like their motivation is to please a woman Basically, most the most of the richest men in the world, most of the inventors, most of the uh, create create the creative people who made a name for themselves, their motivation was women. To please a woman, to impress a woman, to make a woman happy, to please their wife, to make the woman proud, something like that. So, y'all know men's number one motivation, straight men's motiv straight men's motivation is a woman. Okay, they're going to try to get over on you and get what they want for free. But if you're a smart woman, you know how to get what you want. Um, and sometimes you don't even have to do anything. You just, the promise or the hope of it is just enough to get what you need. Um, and it's funny because men are, a lot of men are ruled by their lower natures and they they're too blind to see past it a lot of times some can come out of it and see things for what they really are but they will always go back down to their lower nature once it's stimulated you know there's no escaping that you know women they can take it or leave it they're like okay you know their priorities are in the correct order men as soon as they see you know a nude woman or something or boobs or a butt their their mind is gone all the blood has gone down south and from that from that area you can control so that's why you see a lot of dominatrix and a lot of women who look super sexy who have men who basically do whatever they ask them to because they're not thinking when they're with these gorgeous women with boobs out butt out you know all the people envying the woman they have that man is thinking with his lower anatomy and we all know that it is an added bonus to get a woman who's smart, intelligent, and conscious along with that package. Uh, and it's very possible. And in fact, a lot of women are conscious. They just don't show their brain and their spirituality to men who not who are not worthy of it. You know, why would I waste my time explaining my spirituality, my beliefs, my um, you know knowledge to someone I don't even plan on seeing the next day? You know that's not for them okay the real men with the real potential of husband lifetime partner is gonna get my spirituality is gonna get my intelligence okay the other guy I don't want to have nothing to do with is gonna get the shallowness okay that is how a lot of these women are and you'll see a lot of men comment oh they look good on the outside but there's nothing there on the inside and they're just shallow no they're shallow to you because they don't want you, they're not wasting their time explaining, you know, their concept of the universe and blah, 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 blah. They're going to play dumb with you. A lot of women are smart, believe it or not. A lot of beautiful women are smart because they know how to get what they want. Okay. A lot of beautiful women know they have to play dumb sometimes to get in the door. And then they bust out their intelligence. Okay. Because we know men have egos. And we know that if you feel smarter than us and if you think you're teaching us something then we have you eaten out of our hands you know we can we have that control we can control you with the outward appearance and the playing dumb and the acting 
and we can get pretty much what we want and influence you to do pretty much what we want because we know how men think. They think with lower extremities and they're very, very basic. Like women are so complex, you don't even know she's coming with a plan and she's already mapped it out. You don't know, like there are conscious women who wear the head wraps, no make, not a stitch of makeup, who got, who, who do the same thing. You would think that they're a good wholesome woman. They, they might even wear the head thing. You might think that they're a good wholesome woman, but once they put it on you and got that control and then threatened to take it away and go give it to somebody else, I'm like, you know, they got you. They got you. Believe me. I do so many readings. <laughs> Where this is the issue, men come, men come to me get, trying to get readings, and men always come to me to get readings after the woman has left them for somebody else. And I say, "Well, are you with someone?" And they say they think they're still with this woman in their mind. This is how attached these males get to this, the power of the pee. I said, "So, are you with anyone?" Yeah, kind of, sort of. Yeah. I was like, "Do they live with you? No, they left. They moved out. I think they got another man." Okay, then how are they with you? They're not with you anymore. Okay. But in a man's mind, they don't try to get their woman back or they don't try to change or do anything right until she's with somebody else. See, the power of the P. Once the power of the P, when the P gets handed over to another man, then they want to act right. Remember, it's your, it's that. They don't like, they, they, they think they own it. <laughs> Once you give it to them a few times, they think it's theirs. But really, it's not. It's yours and you're using it to control them. So ladies, don't ever forget that. Don't ever forget it. Once once they start doing wrong, cut them off. Like if you're in a relationship or a marriage, once they start once they start getting on your nerves and not doing and not complying and getting complacent, cut them off sexually. Don't even sleep in the same bed with them. Cut them off. Don't even let them cuddle with you. Cut them off. And be like, you know what? I, I you just don't turn me on right now. You know, I just I can't get in the mood and. I'm really, I just really need this thing done. I can't think about nothing else until I get this thing done. I don't, you know what? I, I need to go to work. I need to put in some overtime because I really want this purse. Or, oh, you know what? I need to go to my mom's house for the weekend. And she said if I help her do some, you know, some work around her house and stuff like that, she would, you know, give me a little something. something. Take yourself out of the situation and put yourself in another situation where you can get what you want. And deny him sex because he can't give it to you. Why? Because that's how it works. And I know a lot of men are going to be mad. But this is how the world works, y'all. This is how the world works. And, and I know you're going to say, well, he's just going to go cheat. And da, 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 da. Well, you know what? Women can cheat too. Ain't no big deal. And the thing is, he doesn't, like, he wants it from you. He, he can get it from anywhere else. But if you're denying him, he has to chase you. And men like to chase. Men like challenges. Men like what they can't have. Men will be controlled by the P. And they always have been since the beginning of time. From the story of Adam and Eve. Even if y'all don't believe Adam and Eve, I don't either. But from the story of Adam and Eve, men have always been controlled by a woman. Influenced, controlled handled all of that okay the oldest profession in the world is what prostitution and a lot of men hate that a woman have that much power over them they have tried religion they have tried patriarchy they have tried slut shaming they have tried everything in their power to get us to be ashamed of our talents and our natural power over them but i'm here to tell y'all Use what you got. Don't deny it. Get what you want. Live the life you want today. You know, there's, I, I see too many tired, struggling, sad looking women wasting their life. When all they got to do is use what they got. And I'm not trying to say go out and have sex with everybody. I'm saying use your sexuality. Use your beauty. Use the, the promise of, you know, one day you might earn this or... One day, maybe we can do this, or I'm going to put this in your mind and your vision so you can earn it, you know. It's, it's not about having a bunch of sex with people. It's about them wanting to have sex with you. That's it. It's not about having the sex. It's about them wanting to have the sex. And 
it's the desire. Their desire will drive them to do whatever you ask them to. Believe me. Now, some, if it's not in their power, like if you want a Lamborghini and your man works at Costco, that's, that's very impossible. But maybe you could tone it down to like, you know, you want a Honda or something, you know. <laughs> Be realistic, ladies. Don't, you know, so it, depending on the caliber of the man, those are the requests that you could, you know, you can work with. So, like, if I want something, that's, you know, if I, like right now, my husband in the other room, because he's working in his office today at home. He's probably eavesdropping, but that's okay. He knows this is true. If I say, baby, I want to go to lunch. Let's go eat. Okay, where do you want to go? And I just rub his shoulder. I'm like, Come on, let's go eat. And I rub my boob against his shoulder, and we're going out to eat. Okay. Done. All right, I'll see y'all later. Bye.